Okay. Uh, thank you. First of all, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, I loved the movie. I saw it last Monday. It was a very, very good movie. Um, uh, first question, how is it to star as a, yeah, a superhero in the MCU? It's really cool. It's really cool. It's a dream. It's a dream for me. Um, I can't believe I, I'm talking to you about a Marvel movie and that I'm in it. You know, the first time I saw the movie, it had the the Marvel logo come on the screen and all the comics started to show. And I just, that was like very real for me where I realized I'm a part of the MCU. Whether this is the only time I'm ever a part of it, it doesn't even matter because I got to be in a Marvel movie. It was a goal of mine. It was a huge dream. Um, so I did it. I f did it and I'm really, really proud. And I think the movie, you know, when you're filming the movie, I have no idea what it's going to look like. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And most of my scenes are with Paul. So it's really just me and Paul running around the quantum realm, like having fun. And then all of a sudden I watch the movie and there's all this stuff going on with Jonathan and Michelle and Michael Douglas. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a huge movie. It's way bigger than I expected. So I had no idea that the movie was going to be this um, insane. Uh, but it's definitely kicking off phase five in a cool direction. And I'm uh, very, very happy to be a part of it. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, uh, Ant Man wasn't supposed, wasn't a, a big superhero for a lot of people. But what does, uh, what is it that makes Ant Man a big super superhero now? Uh, what do you think that makes that? I think that it's funny that uh, Ant Man is like the most relatable superhero. You know, these movies are about family, and the first, the first two especially are about family, like. They're not in the quantum realm. There's, you know, they do they do visit like there's little glimpses of the quantum realm and things that are magical. But that's the thing about Ant Man. He's just like you and me. He's a regular guy in a regular world with a regular family, and I think that's really relatable to people. Um, I think Cassie Lang is a lot like her dad. She's just a normal girl who's not perfect, and it's very nice to see that on screen because I think a lot of people can relate to it. They can relate to a normal person and they can definitely, a lot of people can relate to a father and a daughter reconnecting. And what are the similarities between you and Cassie Lang? The similarities between us? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, Cassie Lang really cares about other people. You know, she puts her heart first. She leads with her heart. Um, and I think that's very brave. Uh, but she's a little bit impatient and she just doesn't quite know how to be a hero yet. And I think her and I have that impatience in common. I think we both get ahead of ourselves. If you see the movie, uh, Cassie Lang's not a perfect fighter. She doesn't know how, but she's in the fight. She's in the fight. And I think that's kind of like me. Like, I just want to make everybody proud in the movie, all the fans. And I think Cassie Lang wants to make her dad proud. And so you can see that in the movie, like where Cassie Lang is messing up. That was really just me messing up. Like, I wanted to be a cool superhero, but I'm really not there yet. <laughs> oh, well, that succeeded. It uh, was <laughs> very good. Um, uh, when you look at bugs, uh, of course, an ant is a bug, a wasp is a bug. What's your favorite bug? Oh, I like ladybugs. And would you be a ladybug superhero if you had to choose? No, I want to be ant girl. Ant girl, okay. And your superhero is then strength? Well, she gets really big and really small. <laughs> really big and really small. And that's what I like about Ant Man. Uh, the relatability, but uh, super uh, powers like as well. Superpower. It's pretty cool yeah. when he goes really big. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, there's sometimes when I want to be very, very big. Yeah. I know. What would you rather be, really big or really small? Um, I think very big because I can do a lot more work when I'm very big. Me too. I, I, yeah. I say that. Very big. Um. What's your favorite scene in the movie? Hmm. I Is really love. Um, I really love the scene where we meet everybody in the quantum realm, because uh, it was so fun filming that. First of all, the actors are amazing, but seeing them come to life like that blew my mind. Like to see the little alien creatures, like loved that. That's just what I love about these movies, you know. It makes you use your imagination. It takes you somewhere else completely. And I think you can find yourself. The further you get from it, the less you see. I like movies that are not necessarily grounded in reality. Like, 
I like when things are surreal and magical because it's easier to imagine for something. Like it's easier for me to connect to something when it feels further away almost. Does that make sense? You kind of get what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Like the Wizard of Oz, you know, like there's there's something about movies where when they get really strange and magical, I can I can find myself in them easier. Yeah, you know? yeah, I understand. That's the the type of movies I like as well. Uh, I love as well. Um, uh, you were talking about the aliens. Did you love the whole holeless uh, alien without the the holes? I love Veb. Oh, Veb. that's his name. I forgot. It. Sorry. I love yeah. Veb. Veb's my favorite part of the movie. Uh, that's one of uh, when he gets the holes. That's a great uh, moment, right? So funny. I mean, it was so funny. Like I'm, I, I that was just so cute, wasn't it? Like. He's so cute. And that was a full grown man playing that role. Okay. He was a very tall man, David Dosmalshan, and he was crouched down like a little alien dude while we were filming. And it was so funny. I just loved it. Like, that's my favorite part of movies like Ant Man. Um, I love in Guardians of the Galaxies, like, I love Groot. You know, I love like little things that are just strange, you know? Yeah. Uh, I understand. Very, very good. Um, when you look um, at the MCU as a whole, uh, probably you're going to star some other movies. Which uh, superhero do you hope to star with? Groot. Groot. I love and Groot. why? I love Groot. Uh, what you just told me, is that the reason? Yes, because he's so cute. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> is very cute. He'd probably be mad cute. at me if I said that, right? Groot. Yeah. The small Groot is cuter than the big Groot. Yeah, small group. But we could be big. You know, I could be big Cassie, and then, you know, he would be big Groot, and I would still be bigger than him. Yeah, he will always be small. little Groot to me. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm a big Disneyland fan, and here in Disneyland Paris, we have some uh, Ant-Man uh, thematization. Uh, uh -huh. If there would be an Ant-Man uh, uh, ride with you starring in it, what kind of ride do you hope it would be? Oh, a roller coaster. Like a roller really coaster. big roller coaster with a giant drop. Giant drop and a lounge or? Loud? Yeah. Loud, yeah. Definitely. Um, uh, what was the biggest challenge you had in taking this role? The biggest challenge was trying not to laugh. That was the hardest thing. I kid you not. I took focus and dedication, hard work to not giggle throughout a take. And I giggled every time I failed. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. Yeah, but that is uh, one of the things that makes Ant-Man a great movie. Uh, there's a lot of uh, humor in it, so mm -hmm. it's not that uh, that uh, strange. Um, if you um, could play another superhero, who would it be? And not Groot, of course. If I could play another superhero, I think it would be fun to be Kang. I know he's a villain. But I think Kang is an incredible character because there's so many versions of him um, that we know in the comics. And I just think I'm inspired by working with Jonathan. You know, it seems like a really great character to play. Okay, thanks. Uh, one last question. Uh, how is it to play with all those big names in, in the movie? It's incredible. And I'm telling you that they are such such successes and icons and legends because they are that nice and cool in real life and they really inspired me to bring it and have fun and not be afraid and that it was a better experience than I could have ever imagined working with them. Did they help you uh, play the role so good? Definitely. I think that their encouragement and their belief in me, their trust in this character with me um, just allowed me, that trust allowed me to take risks and to have fun and not hold back. And I love, I love all of them so much. Great. Thank you. I hope I will see you in another uh, uh, Avengers or Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. And uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.